we have more wood yeah. development. Mm. So in an experiment like this, it's very important when you're treating the soil with organic matter, with compost, with whatever, yeah. you want to also assess the growth of the um, of the, um, the roots. Of the roots. And the way to do this is that you take a sample. Okay. And then you wash the roots. them here and then you weigh them so mm. you get root biomass uh -huh. okay? it's a measurement that's very important it's that's so important. It's important. Mm. okay and you do fresh weight first and then you do dry weight yeah we've done now how many plants are you sampling here six uh, you took six. Six, six, six from each plant six plants What are you smelling? Smell them and you'll see differences in the in the smell. Mm -hmm. This is with what? Mm. This is more. Mm. This is less. <laughs> this is yummy. <laughs> ah, yes, there is difference. Oh, I wish I am a farmer. Now. Why would you? Mm. Why would you have a treatment that is negative? Negative control. Why would you have a negative control? To compare. Differences. Mm. To compare. To compare. Differences. Yeah, but is there a farmer that will do nothing? Yes. Yeah. Of course. Yes. Are there farmers that don't apply anything? Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Where? Some small marginalized farmers, poor farmers. Poor farmers. Poor farmers. The marginalized. We're not, we're, not in Ethi Ethi we're not in Ethiopia here, or Eritrea. Here, here we want to compare. There's, there's no farmer yeah. who will not apply nothing. In order to, we have to compare in order to compare the cost benefit analysis. So yes. what is the benefit? Yeah, but we know that plants that you don't apply them with, with nutrients are not going to grow. Yeah, yeah. yes. So why, why, why is that information useful? That's why could you have compost, That's chemical right. fertilizer. It is just for statistical purposes. No, no, but, but it's like um, the same no, thing how it's natural. if you have four treatments. It's like a standard that we should rely on. How it is in natural. Yeah, it's, it's natural. It, it, it shows to compare if we don't, let's say, potential or genetic potential of the... So, okay. Of the, the, only, the only thing that, that, that this is telling you is that if I apply compost yes. or apply a natural fertilizer it will yield more than the one that doesn't have anything but we already know that you already know that before you do the experiment mm -hmm. okay so why do you need that information <laughs> why isn't for example more important to do a treatment where you apply chemical fertilizer organic compost natural fertilizer whatever mm -hmm. and then you can see the difference between what the conventional do and the organic do okay because no farmer in this area, in the Puglia where we are, in the reality, will not apply anything. They will all apply something, some fertilizer to the soil. Okay? If we are in Eritrea, that's a different story because, okay, the, the small farmers are poor, they don't apply anything. Okay, we want to know that because that's a reality there, but here's not the reality. So comparing all these treatments with that doesn't give me any information that I already didn't know before. Hmm. I already knew that when you, you don't apply anything, you're not gonna get much, much yield. yield. Professor, so we, we knew that. Professor, okay. what about this case? For example, I, I take the data, for example, in organic fertilizer, we, we have good results, for example, here. Uh -huh. And we measure the yield, if you get the yield. We didn't measure the yield, but actually, if you measure the market every yield, and if you compare it directly with the negative control, there is no application. Indirectly, the amount of fertilizer, I mean in cost perspective, also the amount of uh, money that we are going to get from the market every year, we can compare it. What is the purpose in time, in labor, in the time we, uh, we cost in applying the fertilizers in something like this? And also the, what is the cost of the fertilizer in something like this? Okay. And, and gonna, how much gonna, we get? Is that a purpose of the study? 
No, no, we have also objective from comparing the t different treatments. Yeah, but are you going to do an economic analysis? No, no, we don't do, but also we are comparing the different kinds of treatments here. The organic fertilizer, the coffee chop, and which one is better relative to the frame of free treatments. Okay, <clears throat> let me put it in another way. No, ca can I say something? Okay, say yeah. something. Uh, imagine that this, this experiment, I mean, uh, uh, should be done in, in a very fertile area. So do you need at that place or at that area the zero or the, the negative control? In a, in a, in a wet, in a really wet yes. fertile soil? You need it. In, if it's in a real fertile soil, yes. I don't need to apply anything. So I don't do any treatments because it's really fertile. So I do an analysis before. But all those, soil. all those farmers and But you give me a, you, you told me this. Yeah. In a really fertile soil, I don't need to apply anything. But or do you apply something? Yeah, yeah. But yes I, or no? Yes. You apply. It's uh, you, you, no, no, you don't need anything. Okay, but that's but, my answer. But can I say? Yeah. Yeah. But maybe the farmers they are always, you know, optimistic to get the optimum yield and they are looking for better and better situations. Okay. So in that case, if it's in a really fertile soil and the farmers want to apply something, then what happens is that I keep the system it is natural because it's fertile. And it's very fertile, so I know that they're nutrients. Okay. Here, you don't have that fertile soil. Now, the point is the, the following. Did you apply the same amount of nitrogen? Yes. How do you, how do you account for that? We calculate. How do you account that? How do you know that here you're applying so many kilos of nitrogen? Nitrate, nitrate, nitrate. If you know the... And, and they're the okay. same, and they're the same. Okay, if you know the... Uh, the nitrogen contest of the compost, yeah. you can measure this. And if you know that there is, it's written on the for organic fertilizer, this amount of nitrogen. 1.5%. Something, and you can measure the percentage. But what was the case here? I want to know this case. How do you calculate it? Here. And this is how do you calculate it? What was the percent soil of the compost? You can make soil. Yeah, but no, no, it is soil and it's different, what we have no, in the soil. No, no, I'm talking no, about he's asking the, the how many nitrogen we put. We don't remember the number, so no, we know the amount. 135 something. 135, I don't know. Or 150, no, he, he gave us the paper. We're talking about what you applied, you know, what was in the soil. Yeah, we have this yeah, we, 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 How much? You don't have one, okay. 135 or something. Is it 135? What? 3.7. Somebody write that down. 3.7 percent the compost. Okay. How much do you apply? What's the rate? Five tons, two tons. How much of compost do you apply? Per hectare. You calculated the assumption of the plant. The plant need is like 120 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare. Okay. So how do you? How much compost is that? I don't remember the exact, but the calculation is based on this need and on the content of uh, the compost. Okay. Then we measure on the balance. Maybe okay. I remember the kilogram of compost Okay, I'm going to say 24 kilos. So 24 kilos of compost at 3.7% nitrogen. Okay. How much nitrogen is that? How, you, how do you calculate that? Because you tell me already, right, right. you put in 24 kilos. Mm -hmm. 24 kilos has 3.7% nitrogen. Okay? You're gonna get a number there. Yes. Okay. How do you calculate now for the other, for the other, for the other, uh, what is it? The, uh, Load, other, uh, treatment. Treatment. the other treatment? Organic fertilizer. No, you only apply the, yes. what was it? Organic and raw material. Composition. Okay, raw material. Mm -hmm. How much nitrogen is there? It's also, it's also the same. Ah? It is also 3.7%? Uh, no, no, no. Different number, but similar uh, con nitrogen content, okay. and uh, it's measured based okay. on. So uh, finally, what you did, you made all these calculations, yes. and you are sure that you apply the same amount of nitrogen mm -hmm. in each plot. Yes. Yes. The assumption is that. that. The assumption is that yeah. it's a different fertilizer, but they all receive the same, same amount mm -hmm. of nitrogen. Mm -hmm. All the three treatments, yes. except the, the control. control. Okay. In the control, didn't get anything. Mm -hmm. You didn't apply anything. So why is that control useful? You see what I'm saying? Mm. What do you mean? All it is telling you is that if you don't apply anything, 
you're not gonna get good yields but if you apply so much nitrogen because it's the same amount of nitrogen to the other plots you're gonna get more in the others and the difference why would there be difference 